Hey guys, Brian from RV Ghost right here. I uh, want to talk to you a little bit uh, about RV insurance. <clears throat> Not really a whole bunch, but just kind of a, a tip. Uh, something that I've learned um, when purchasing our RV insurance. Uh, back in 2010, we had purchased a new pop-up, or excuse me, not a new pop-up, a new travel trailer. We had a pop-up years ago before that, but in 2010, we bought a, a new travel trailer and uh, bought it from Camping World and, you know, through all the hype and everything, and they were, you know, pushing their, their Camping World insurance and everything, and uh, so, you know, we, we called the number and, and uh, talked to a to an agent there our brokers actually is what we found out it was and anyway they uh we got a quote and it was a, a really good quote what you know better than what we thought it would be um and it was through allied insurance you know we were kind of confused we thought oh this is camping world insurance this is going to be their insurance well uh, it's not they're a brokerage they uh they can underwrite through many different uh, uh insurance companies so Anyway, we had that uh, Allied Insurance, uh, great. Never had to use it, thank God. Uh, and in 2013, we traded in that travel trailer for our 2013 Class C motorhome. And you know, of course, the same thing came. You know, we were wondering what what our insurance rate is going to be. We knew it was going to be higher with it being a motorhome and the, the value of it being, you know, about three times as three to four times as much as what the travel trailer was maybe three times but uh so you know even when we was at the at the dealership uh the finance guy said yeah he talked to somebody and it should be um i forgot what it was we'll just say 500 bucks a year for it and we thought well that's that's pretty good that's only a couple hundred dollars more than what we were paying for the travel trailer so um so you know we get the information finally that where I could call and get the insurance and I, I call and um, the person that I talked to automatically quotes me under National General Insurance. Now National General Insurance used to be GMAC, GMAC. And uh, I don't know if it was a name change or a buyout or what, but anyway, it, it changed over from GMAC to National General. And they gave me a price quote, and it was about twice as high. It's about we're using the number five hundred. It was about thousand dollars, maybe nine hundred and some change, almost a thousand dollars. So, you know, when I said "oh" like that, the lady says, "Oh, is that good?" And then I was like, "No, that's twice as high as what we were told it would probably be." And she goes, "Oh, really?" And I said, "Yeah." And, and uh, I said, "Can you give me a quote through Allied?" And she was like, okay. And so she had to go and, and she started asking me all the questions over again. It wasn't like she could just pull it up, you know, like there was a, a comparison side by side where they put the numbers in and they could pull up all these different uh, age, or insurance companies. She had to go through, I mean, it was a long process or, you know, it was 10, 15 minutes of asking or answering questions again. So she came back and it was about half the price. It was say that 500 number you know what we, where we were thought we'd be at you know what we were told that we'd be at and of course we went we went with that um later on i was on the rv.net forum and um there was some talk about insurance and i saw this guy pop up named bob fulcher and he commented on a post and i looked you know he looked like he was a a person of some kind of authority in the camping world insurance uh, section and uh, come to find out he was the vice president of camping world insurance so I sent him a, a private message I didn't you know put out and about and uh, I, just, I flat out asked him I said why is it that when people call camping world insurance to get a quote that they're automatically quoted through National General Insurance. I said, you know, is it because they they offer higher commissions, uh, you know, or, you know, what is it? Is it, you know, they get better kickbacks or something for it? And uh, 
he kind of told me he said I can't remember his exact words uh, I think I have the I have an article on the RVing Illustrated website about it uh, matter of fact uh, if you uh, go to RVing Illustrated and you look you'll see it. it's uh, called Good Sam Gone Bad or something like that that's what I titled it uh, wrote it a year or two ago or you can uh, I think you can Google Good Sam Gone Bad and I think it'll bring you right to the article uh, but anyway long story short he basically said yes he said it is true that National Journal does offer the highest commissions but that he tells his agents not to quote you know uh, under National Journal if uh, if there's a better price a better competitive price on a different thing well I'm not gonna say he's 100% wrong but I, to me I'm kind of confused because when I called and they automatically did National Journal, they, that's the one they unnatural, you know, automatically quoted. And then when I asked for Allied, they had to ask me these questions all over again. So if they're going to give me the competitive price, then why would they just go through National Journal and not even worry about these other companies? Why did I have to ask? And then come to find out it's half the price. That's not competitive. That's not a competitive price at all. So I kind of call hogwash to keep it clean on that um, and he said that if you do get a quote through the website it does automatically go give you a quote through National General so there, that's a good tip right there for you if you go to the website and you can get a quote you're gonna get a quote through National General um, from what I've seen people comment about National General is they hate it um, I've seen a lot of people post that their uh, uh, prices are going up every year. You know, that, oh, it's just a, you know they get told oh it's just a standard increase in price. And I mean, there's some some people that say they they really liked it, they enjoyed it. And I will tell you, um, last month or well, a month and a half ago, when I was in my car accident, and the lady had ran a red light and we collided uh, the owner's insurance company was National General and I was kind of worried about it but I will say uh, they did take care of me they paid off my car uh, gave me a little injury settlement for it of uh, minor injuries I mean I'm, I'm more than happy with what they gave me uh, it worked out good for me on that end but of course I'm not the person who's paying for the insurance uh, no telling what's happening with them and what they're, if they're, you know, what kind of increase they're going to go through or what kind of headaches they're going to go through. So, uh, yeah, just a, just a little tip there. If you, if you're going to go through Camping World insurance, and it's really not Camping World insurance, don't get misled that Camping World has an insurance uh, company or is an insurance company. They're not. They don't have their own insurance. They're brokers. They quote you through other companies they they have the abilities to to pull up and underwrite um, uh, your insurance through multiple companies and you know and if you got the time ask them to try it through several different ones you may get lower prices but uh like i said we found allied allied is part of nationwide um and everything that we got covered is covered. I mean, our, we have awning replacement, and another thing too, it covers um, roadside assistance. So even though we have Good Sam Roadside Platinum Plus insurance till like 2020, because we have the extended warranty and all this when we bought the motorhome, um, I happened to be looking at our our insurance paperwork, and it said on there it mentioned the roadside assistance. So. Uh, if you haven't looked at your your insurance paperwork in a while, and you're paying for roadside assistance, you might it might be good to look at your paperwork and then maybe call your insurance company to see if roadside uh, assistance is covered through your insurance. Uh, I really didn't pay attention to it before, and I didn't really uh, know that ours ours was covered. Uh, it's good to know because if I decide not to. To keep that extended warranty I could you know I can turn in the extended warranty and get a partial refund on it now since I haven't used it and uh, it, it will probably cut out the roadside assistance that we have but you know if our insurance for the motorhomes covering it we have relatively somewhat new cars 
you know, we have extended warranty on our car, so uh, we have roadside service on our cars that through the, the manufacturer, so uh, may not even be worth it. Uh, something we're going to have to seriously look at. But anyway, uh, yeah, take a look at all that, and uh, especially for your new people, maybe you might be thinking about getting a, an RV, a travel trailer, a motorhome, and you know, wondering what kind of insurance you should get or where you should get it. Um, I'm telling you, not you know, I'm not a big fan of Camping World right now, and uh, some people know it from my previous videos. I used to be a cheerleader, but I'm not anymore. But I'm not going to tell you not to go through uh, Camping World insurance to get the, to get the insurance. Just I just want you to be aware. Um, so that you don't get screwed on the deal. Uh, just know, you know, give you a heads up of what's happening and what you can do to uh, circumvent the, the situation a little bit uh, to make it work out for you. So, uh, still waiting on those uh, stickers to come in. Uh, they should be here any day now. Uh, they were printed a, a, a week and a half ago. I think there was a time couple days so for them to do the, the oval die cut on them but they should be shipped so I should I'm hopefully have them by the end of the week so I'll be doing a video about those and uh, what we're going to be doing with those and how we're going to be selling them and what we're going to give away with some of the first uh, ones that we sell um, also I did a video and it's the video right before this one I did a test thing of the news um, it looks like not very many people are interested in it. Um, remember, I think there was, I don't even think there was more than five or six views and I already had some thumb sounds and I, and I understand I, there's probably, some of those are probably trolls. Um, some of them may not be, but I, I think the ones that were on there really quick, I had like two really, really quick. And I, don't, I, I think I have four views and I think two or three of those views were probably me, but uh, Anyway, I got, had a couple thumbs down, but I'm not really getting any comments on that. Um, and it, was, it was just a, a, a short sample of, of something we could do. It wasn't really a, a finished product or, or a full product of what we do, but I understand, you know, people not interested in that, and uh, I'm definitely not gonna put the time into it. Um, and, you know, if you did see it and you, you are interested in it, you know, by, by all means, throw me a thumbs up on it, or shoot me a comment on it if you don't want to uh, comment on it or, or send us an uh, email you know you can send me an email at info at rvingillustrated.com and uh, or brian at rvingillustrated.com and I'll get that and you know if you don't want people to see it publicly that's fine uh, that you're interested in it uh, just send me an email let me know or uh, if you'd like to see it differently I don't mean send me an email throw some comments out uh, it's not gonna hurt my feelings one way or the other. So if people don't want to see it, don't want to watch it, I'm definitely not gonna do it. Um, I'm not gonna waste my time uh, doing it. It does take a little bit of time to, you know, to get the information and uh, set it up and, and, and get my little uh, teleprompter uh, set up for it and, and you know, several takes, you know, because it do, do screw up. Um, and then of course the editing. You know, in that short little two, three minute video that I did, I probably spent several hours, two or three hours, probably easily by the time of, of gathering the information, putting it on a file for my little teleprompter that I did, um, uh, the, the takes that I did, you know, the, probably did about five or six takes at least on it. Um, then, you know, importing it into the, uh, into the, software and you know and then doing some of the editing it, it takes some time it's uh other people who do videos will tell you it's not uh, a very quick and easy thing to do especially those who have uh intros and outros and, and the time to download the file and and to uh, import it and export it and you know to make the the video it takes time and then you you gotta put it up on a uh, uh, YouTube uh, upload on YouTube and that takes some time and, and you got to go through the settings on there so there, there's a little work that goes into it and uh, like I said if uh, people are not going to be interested in it I'm, I'm not going to do it so I'll stick to some easier stuff and things that are fun so. 
Well, let me go, guys. It looks like it's uh, starting to rain here pretty hard. I just started hitting some rain, so let me concentrate on this, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Y'all have a good day. Bye.